Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because, holy shit guys, we are basically almost at a thousand subscribers. Like, I feel like every time I come on this camera to talk to you guys, I'm like bragging about how fucking far we've come. Are you kidding me? Like, so, if you haven't noticed, you know... <sighs> I haven't been on um, YouTube in like, I've uploaded in like two or three weeks and um, that's because I was waiting to make this video. I know I could have made it sooner but I didn't want to show you guys until it was fully healed which it's still not fully healed but I did not want to wait to show you guys. So yeah, I was like I need to get a video up for them. They're sitting here subscribing away and joining my family and I'm not even giving them anything. So. Yeah, I didn't want to get on camera and then like you'd see it and then you'd be like, oh my god, I got a new tattoo. Like I wanted to talk about it. So that's what I'm going to do in this video today. So I'm not going to go over like all my tattoos because I only have three tattoos and I plan on getting a lot more. So when I get, I'm not going to say where I get where I want to be because then I'm going to be tattooing my body for a long time. Ooh, excuse me. So I got a tattoo about... I want to say it's two weeks ago. I got it like on the 13th, 12th, 13th. I think it fell on maybe the 14th. I don't know. It was the weekend around there. And I got it done at a place called Artistic Impressions in um, Katy, Texas. Um, a lot of my local subscribers, like people I grew up with, they probably know where I'm talking about. But if you don't know and you live in the Houston area, um, if you live in the Houston area and you don't know about Artistic Impressions, I highly suggest checking them out because they have... So many different artists from different, um, I don't want to say, I guess genres, like different art styles. Like they have traditional artists, neo-traditional, um, they have black and gray realism, color realism. Like they have somebody for everybody, which is what I love. They have a variety of artists to fit your need. I want, eventually want a full sleeve and I, I guess it's going to be traditional. I don't know. I don't really know where I want to go with it because I, I like different styles of tattooing like I love um, black and gray realism I love dot work um, I just love the art behind tattooing so I'm not gonna put a disclaimer in this video like I see I've watched a lot of tattoo videos like a lot like I run out of tattoo videos to watch that's how much I watch them and they always put a disclaimer in here if you don't like tattoos don't watch it the tat I mean, the title clearly says tattoos so if you're watching my video, and you clicked on my video, and it says the title tattoos and you do not like tattoos, I'm not putting a disclaimer because you decided to click on my video. And that was your choice. If you hear snoring, one dog is under the covers and one dog is at my feet. So you probably will hear him because he's, he's, he's loud. I don't know if y'all heard that. Hey. Hey. Link their Instagrams down below, and then I will also um, link the guy who did my tattoo. His name is BB, and he specializes in, I think, black and gray, and then he specializes in traditional art, which is what I was drawn to because I was like, I need to find a good traditional artist. A little close-up of my tattoo, and then I'm going to kind of go into, like, why I got it. Now, I'm just going to say right now, do I think tattoos have to have some deep meaning? No. Tattoo is meant to be beautiful artwork. And that's just what it is. It's beautiful artwork that you decide to put on your body for the rest of your life. I mean, does it maybe help to have a meaning if you think you're going to regret it in the long run? Maybe. But I live life in the now because I could not be here tomorrow, you know? So don't base your life based on how you're going to feel 50 years down the road. That's just not going to matter. You see what I'm saying? All these people are like, you're going to look old and wrinkly and have all these tattoos. I'm going to look old and wrinkly anyways. Like, what? I'm going to be wrinkly anyways. I'm going to look old, saggy, in two ways if I make it that far. Okay, so let me show you my tattoo, guys. So yeah, that is 
is my tattoo so let me just kind of explain why I got the tattoo so I I love traditional artwork um, I kind of I don't know I'm not like stuck on like traditional or black and gray like I love both um, now how I'm gonna incorporate it I don't know but I just love the way that traditional tattoos look I like bold lines and I like traditional colors I'm not a big fan of like blues and like stuff like that I'm not crazy about like those colors on a tattoo um that's where I would more lean towards black and gray but traditional colors I just love how they pop on your skin it is why I decided to go with traditional I do want to get a traditional piece um back here to do like um half sleeve so that is in the works um my parents took this kind of hard so I told them I would wait on this until I moved out and when I went into the tattoo shop I told BB that I wanted something traditional um, I wanted like a beautiful girl um, whether it be a gypsy or just a regular girl um, I knew I wanted one of those so I took in a bunch of reference pictures and then I also wanted to incorporate makeup because as you guys know my makeup channel I love makeup um, makeup has like changed my life in more ways than not and I know that may sound silly to a lot of you guys you might not understand like like okay it's just makeup it's fun like how did it change your life it's done so much for me as far as like opening up to people making friends um, starting a YouTube channel makeup encouraged me makeup videos encouraged me um, so yeah that's basically it's changed my life I don't want to get emotional because it, it can get emotional because just a little backstory. I wasn't like the coolest person in high school. I know. Hard to believe, right? I mean, come on. I'm a catch. Right. Coolest person in high school and I never really knew where I f fit in, kind of. So when I got out of high school and I started like playing with makeup and like getting into the YouTube world. And, like, I started, people started commenting nice things, and, like, people started asking me, like, for advice. Like, coming, people I went to high school with are coming to me and asking me for advice, and I'm just, like, I'm that important. Like, I, <laughs> it sounds silly, but I've never felt like anybody really paid attention, like anyone cared. And now, all of a sudden, all these people care, and it's like, holy shit. Like, that's why when I tell you guys, like, I'm in shock that I'm even close to a thousand subscribers, like, oh my god, this video is going to be so fucking long, I swear to god. <laughs> yeah, basically it changed my life. Let's just leave it at that. So yeah, so I wanted to incorporate makeup. And I didn't really necessarily know how to incorporate it. I didn't know what I wanted to do. But he started coming up with all these ideas. And like, we went back and forth on like four different designs that he drew up. And they were all beautiful designs, let me tell you. But we took pieces from like different designs and we kind of just made it this perfect little design just for me and I am in love with it you guys like seriously I just stare at my arm I'm like this is my arm like forever like I get to look at this beautiful and the, my favorite part about it is that it's mine like it's not something like he copied it's not something that like he looked at photos but he didn't copy those photos like this is all 100% original design from him is I told him that like first we were just going to do like this bit right here just let me see if I can zoom in Ooh, that's okay. so we were just going to do this bit here like without the rows um, because let me tell you tattoos are expensive so I went into it like I wanted all this um, but it was gonna cost me a little more than originally but I really wanted the rose and I just think it looks beautiful with the piece so I'm really happy that I decided to go with and put the rose in there. This is a traditional girl and she just has this robe around her and um yeah so that's the top half and then this little cute lipstick she's holding is so cute. He originally drew her holding a mirror and then we kind of went over it and then we decided to have her holding a lipstick in it and then this part down here a lot of people don't realize like what it is i think it's just like a floral piece a part of it but it's actually like a like a mirror compact of a blush if you see like the pink back there so it's kind of hard to tell from this but she's coming out of like a makeup mirror or makeup compact and then at the bottom there's this beautiful traditional rose just coming out of the bottom and oh my god guys like 
is so beautiful. That is my tattoo. Um, I'm in love with it. And, oh, I didn't even talk about the pain or anything because I'm so busy fucking yapping about everything else. <laughs> so, pain. This tattoo took about four and a half hours. I originally, when I went in, I thought it was only going to take two and a half. To... Okay, cheese. Cheese. Yeah. It took about four and a half hours. When I went in originally, I thought it was going to take um, like two to three hours just because I didn't, I don't think I realized how, like, how much room it would take up. And the pain, it wasn't fun, <laughs> like at all. For the roses, um, like the, like just the whole rose in general, but like especially the leaves, when he got to my wrist, that was like intense cutting pain. Um, but other than that, the rest of it wasn't, like, too dreadful. Um, this part in the ditch right here, it did go into my ditch just a little bit. So, that part kind of sucked, but everyone was like, oh my god, it hurts so bad. And it really wasn't, I mean, the wrist, to me, hurt more than up here. But then again, he barely went into it, and he wasn't up there long. So, that could have been what it was. 5 to 6 out of 10. Which, like I said, this area is not bad to get tattooed. I just did not like getting the wrist tattooed. I mean, I have this tattoo on my wrist right here. It's kind of awkward angle. I have this one, and this one hurt, but it was like it was 20 minutes, not even. Um, this was four and a half hours. So, you can see this is my first big piece. Like, the both tattoos that I have took less than 10 to 20 minutes. This took four and a half hours. So... The longer you sit there, you're going to get sore. But I think because I was so excited to get this done, I had, we'd have, we'd been going back and forth for about two weeks, but I had wanted this tattoo for a long time. I was I was more excited to go with the tattoo than I was nervous of the pain, if that tells you anything. Like, if it's something you really want, don't let that pain get in your head and, like, trip you out. It's not that bad. It hurts and it sucks. But it's temporary. So have any questions about my tattoos that I didn't answer or cover in this video? Please leave a comment down below. Um, if you want me to do my other tattoo vi or my other tattoos, I will do those. But like I said, it's only two other tattoos, and they're not big like, at all. So, and you see this one a lot in my videos. So, yeah. But if you do like these types of videos, if you do like tattoos, please give this video a big thumbs up and um, let me know how you like it and. All that good stuff. So yeah, my next plan is to, like I said, cover the back of my arm. So we will see what happens with that. Alright, that's it. Have a good night, guys. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!